Hey Libby, my name is Daphne. Great to be working with you on your essay corrections. Thank you for sending in your first ones. So some people believe employees should stay in the same job for the rest of their lives. Others think they should switch at least once. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. Uh, so many people have strong opinions about job hopping in modern day society. Uh, okay, you don't need the here, so no article there. Job hopping. We wouldn't really say job hopping um, about changing jobs frequently in modern society. Uh, sorry, whoopsie. Something like that works instead. There isn't really an exact word. There isn't really, really an exact uh, sort of synonym. I personally completely disagree with the idea that one should never change jobs. There you do want the plural there. Um, over a whole life or over a professional life, I would say. Over a professional life. And I reckon job switching is definitely necessary during one's career. Oh, careful, careful here. Okay. Um, reckon is way too casual. So let's get rid of that. Um, so I completely disagree with the idea that one should never change jobs over a career. One should never change jobs over a career um, as, coming to this, as switching may enhance um, not only experience, but financial reward, something like that. So give me an idea of where this essay is going. You give me your opinion, give me an idea of what you're going to talk about. So here you say you're going to consider two arguments, but I need to know what they are. You need to make your introduction work for you a bit less general. The main reason is that people's first jobs are usually for earning a living and they take time to carve out a niche for themselves. Okay, the main reason for staying in one career or one company. Oh, sorry, the main reason, sorry, for uh, moving from one company to another is that. So you need to tell me what this, when you say here, I'm going to consider, you need to tell me what you're going to consider. The main reason for moving, uh, usually for, yeah, okay, good. I like carve a niche, well done. In general, the first working position that a graduate can find is seldom a satisfying one. Um, okay, because, so join this up. IELTS likes nice complex sentences, okay, because uh, on leaving the campus with, la with leaving the campus, lack of experience, Okay, so when leaving the campus with a lack of experience, graduates um, are always have, okay, off, um, you'd have to have, you can't, you've got two verbs here, are always and have. Um, so I go off and have little idea about what, what each position is in a company, not to mention clearly selecting jobs. In order to acquire a livelihood, we don't acquire a livelihood, we earn a livelihood. Newcomers in society are urged, not a passive verb there, are urged to get their first jobs, okay, and have their first bucket of gold. We definitely wouldn't say that. Um, first job and you could say start on the career ladder, something like that. That would work. Okay. Therefore, they're rarely willing to take the risk to be picky on job selection. However, with years of experience accumulation, years of experience, experience accumulation, employees are able to know what type of work is their preference. And it is high time, not necessarily high time. It may be the right time to find a career.
Okay, so I think you want careful on some of the these. There's a lot of sort of idioms coming in which aren't quite working, and I also think idioms in arts writing is not suitable. It is academic style, so it may be the correct moment for them to broaden. We can say their um, career prospects, something like that. Okay, so you've got some nice ideas in here. Just be careful on some of the grammatical structures um, and keep it academic. So here, additionally, you want to come in here, additionally, yeah, and then you don't need that. Job holders, so additionally, job holders have the right, sure, um, to hop onto, we don't hop, to uh, relocate, okay, uh, to jobs or careers or companies. Think of how you could change that word. With larger, with larger promotion prospects, high salaries and better fringe benefits. Yes, some might have greater capacities and potential, no S on there, but their recent working position and company cannot meet their ambitions. Good. In this case, it's absolutely normal for them to move up the ladder okay, in a bigger and more competitive company because uh, most workers, rather than people, most workers or employees have the tendency or are tempted to or are motivated Two, motivated works nicely. Motivated to chase success, wealth, and satisfaction. Staying in job is boring. Okay, not is careful on this because some people might like it. So, could be uh, dull and unexciting for some and not fulfilling. Yeah, so just be careful on a word like boring, which is not very high level. You can do that better. Consequently, I fundamentally disagree with the idea that people have to say, yep, hold the opinion on what to change. They need to. So people are able to pursue better professional professions and lives as well as earn more. Okay, something like that. You don't need to repeat everything in here, but you do need to come back to some of these key ideas. So good start. I would avoid the idioms. Make sure this introduction is more um, specific to your essay. Then come into your points very clearly one by one and just check that grammar, okay? Before you send it in, just check really carefully on your grammar. So pie chart, uh, crop production, yeah. Overall, three key points. Cotton occupy the largest proportion of the whole. Uh, yeah, okay. Looking into it in more detail, we can see that. Okay, I don't really like we can see that. Okay, um, or it is clear that. Keep we out of it. Go, it is clear that. Cotton accounted for nearly 35% of the entire domestic crop. Yeah, followed by sugar, which brought just under 22. Meanwhile, wheat might, yeah. Okay, more than half crops farmed in France. This Okay, this, or these, something like these uh, proportions indicate that more than half the crops, yeah, and approximately, okay, good, that's fine. Uh, in contrast, so not, I wouldn't go as for, literally, you know, it is a contrast, in contrast. So you want to keep your linking words on the, um, uh, ones that are sort of suitable for task one. So while, whereas, in contrast, in comparison, uh, rather than that, meanwhile, is a little bit task two-ish. Keep keep it quite clear, that distinction. Meanwhile, in contrast, rice and corn, um, however, you need a verb um, registered. 3.5% of the production uh, 
Okay, why don't you go? So registered around 5% of total production with rice at 3.5 and um, corn at whatever. Um, and then link it back. So these two um, foods were, and then you want to link it back. So I've got my small ones and I'm going to link it back to here. We're still three times smaller than smaller than so I've got a nice comparative structure uh, the next most the next most harvested crop of barley so link the small ones back to the big ones so you've grouped it nicely absolutely right you've given me some numbers I just want a bit more comparative so group and compare so if you keep thinking about this group and compare then that will really help you but well done two good start uh, good start Libby good tasks